Hey there, Bad fans. My name is Jamie Whitney. My name is Logan Whitney. We're here from Batatat, creating habitat for bats. For more information, go to www.batatat.com. We're here to show you how easy it is to build your own Batatat. Hey, how do you build a bat house? Well, we'll just show you. Here we go. So, first of all, we've got our kit right here. Easy, compact, everything's there. Um, all we need, we got a little bag here that has the screws, has the nails, has the roofing, um, has a little manual there. Uh, it's all in a little bag here, so we got it all tied up, compact, this is how you're going to get it. Um, what you're going to need, you're going to need a drill, you're going to need a hammer, and you're going to need a 1 8 inch drill bit to pre-drill the holes. So, let's go. We're going to take a knife here, and we're just going to open up the package. So here we have it. To start, we've got a little manual here that's going to describe all that you need to put this together. So we're going to follow it here, right Logan? Yeah. <clears throat> okay. First of all, we're going to look at our pieces. What do we have? Got a couple more ropes here to untie. Um, we've got the side rails right there. We're going to lay those out. And then, unwind the twine. Uh, one more cut. There we go. <clears throat> We've got the roofing here. That's going to go on afterwards, so we'll set it aside. Okay. Now we have these are the top side pieces, so we have two of them, one for the back, one for the front. And as you can see on the inside, it's got scores so that the bat can cling on. So we're going to put the scores on the inside. <clears throat> on the rails, you'll see there's a diagonal piece that's cut, that's going to go on the bottom. So we'll set it up like this, and that's going to go on here. But first, what we have to do is we have to pre-drill the holes. So, we get our drill with the 1 8 inch bit, and on the top piece, we're going to pre-drill one hole. Just like that. Another one on the other side. Just like that. I'll just move this over. Right there a little closer to me. Logan's going to be our driller. Yeah. So it's a great thing to do with your dad. Um, great gift for your dad on Father's Day as well. But instead of giving it to your dad, we're going to give it to my, to my, um, my teacher, Mr. Ruman. That's right. Great gift for anyone. So we have our screws right here. Oh, and there's a drill bit in here too, so we'll find that. Here it is. Let me just get that started. Okay. You know how to work this? Logan? Yeah. Okay. That started. Alright. Right here. Put it in there first. Okay. Good. Okay. So just one one screw in each for the top one. Then we have we have one piece with the bat. That's going to go next. So I'm going to take my drill and I'm going to pre drill two holes in each side. like that. Again, Logan, use your assistance with this. Right 
here. So make sure you have the drill up, to, up straight up and down before you press the trigger. Okay. Okay, the next piece, again we put the scores on the inside so the bats can hold on to it. So we have another member here of our family. This is Celine Whitney and she's going to help us too. So um, <clears throat> now what we've got, we've got the front and we've got the back totally assembled. Screws are in. Um, as you can see here, we've created a half half an inch gap, and that was from putting um, one of the pieces in between and screwing it together. And and we put the back. All the the uh, score joints are on the inside, and we're ready to go with the roofing. So, Logan, Ursuline, can you pass me those two pieces there, right there? Those ones, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna put <clears throat> these pieces, which are already pre-drilled, right here, um, together at the peak to seal in the top. Okay, Selene, he's passing the screws. Another one. Thank you. This is going to be a fun event for the whole family. <laughs> Got that one? Okay, well, actually, hold on to that. Put that back in the bag. <clears throat> so, there we have it. The roof is on. One thing left is, is to put on the roofing. And these are the pieces. Uh, we'll have five pieces total. One for the peak and four for the sides. So, we'll start with the side pieces. We start at the bottom and work our way up. We're going to put it flush on the back. And we're going to take the hammer and we're going to get the roofing nails and for each piece we're going to have two nails one nail and two nails okay so here's the second piece that we're going to put on um, now you're going to Nail this one on, Logan. Yeah. Okay. Grab the hammer. You know how to use that? Yeah. Okay. Can I hold that and you not hit my fingers? Let's do that again. It's my turn. It's my turn. Ooh. Okay. All right. Driving her home. Here we go. Okay. Now the other side. Ready? Hold on to it. Both hands. Hey. Good job. Three and she's hammering nails. Okay, ready? Go. Yeah. Go. I want to hold okay, it. you hold it. Hit that nail. Hit hard. Hit it. You almost got it. Well, Logan's gonna help out a little bit. Oh, all right. All right. Good. We've got. Now we have the peak. And what we do with that is we set it on top and we bend it down. 
Uh, there should be two nails in there. Look at that. Two nails. One for either side. I want to do it, Daddy. Okay. Both hands. Oh, you're going to do one hand? Okay. Yeah, like a pro. We've got the bad house here. Um, and <laughs> it's it's almost together. Not quite. Got one more thing to do until we're done. Got the um, the roofing on, and um, it's all nailed on nicely by my children. Um, you can see this is a, a really easy thing to do to put it together. You don't have to be a professional, um, but simple for the whole family. Now the last thing to do is to put this piece on, and this piece is what's gonna um, what's gonna hang the bat house. So we're gonna screw it on the back like this. How do I just do that, Dad? So there is one more thing that we have to do before we're done, is we have to cock these joints. Okay. So here we are, we've got it all together. The roofing is on, the hanging plates up, and what we're ready to do now is to cock these joints. And these joints, we're gonna seal it up so that no water gets in. Um, so I've got my, my cock gun and my uh, uh, 35 year durability guaranteed um, acrylic latex cock plus silicone. So this is the stuff you wanna get. And I'm just gonna apply it. Here we are, we're, we're here on a beautiful summer day in Eugene, Oregon, making bad houses and eating watermelons. Um, so I also have a little towel with me, wipe the cock off. Just to smooth it out. We're going to do the front and the back. It's important to seal the back as well. So here we have it. Uh, bat attacks complete, and uh, um, it's all ready to go. We've got the screws on, uh, the cock cock, the roof is up, and bats are ready to move in. So, where's the best place to put this? Glad you asked that question. Um, I recommend putting it south facing, southeast, southwest is ideal for warmth, and uh, 10 to 20 feet up off the ground to keep away from predators. <clears throat> so. Uh, what we have is a landing pad. This is where um, we've got the marks so that the bat can grab on and climb up inside. Uh, the ventilation strip here so that air can circulate. The joints are sealed to keep water out and the roof is on to protect from weather. And it's made of 100% uh, western red cedar to last long. Um, I think it's a pretty nice design, don't you think, Logan? Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, Thanks for watching, and contact, contact www.badtat.com. Okay, great. Thanks for your help, Logan, and thank you. Have a great day.